And over the years, our fishing cars have been getting bigger, better, and faster. That's for sure, huh? Look at these things. Fritz. Car from the Flintstones. How about that? Oh, and we have uh, a bunch of cars from the Fast and Furious. Backlot. It's going to be sunny and dry in Six Points, Texas. Cool and cloudy in Little Europe. Expect snow and sleet on New York Street. And we've got a high chance of fog and precipitation for Skull Island, Amity Island, and Isla Nubla. That's your forecast for today. Now here's a look at what's going on in your neck of the lot. Oh, well, it's old Mexico. Uh, we got a flash flood warning. No, no, get that over there. <laughs> We're not going to have a flash flood. Our storms are controllable. Well, they need to be controllable. We don't get a lot of bad weather out here, so we make it ourselves. We've got very skilled weather effects technicians who can do just about anything. It's not lightning, it's just sound effects of light. All right, and now we're Whoa! Okay, guys, you can uh, turn that off. Now we need to get you guys. Weather, guys? Hey! You... Oh, no. They're stuck on! Jimmy 
nice folks in this tram don't want no trouble. They just want to check out Six Points, one of the oldest sets on the Universal Live. I hear this where John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart shot a few of their westerns. That's right. That's where I aim to shoot. Looks like we got ourselves a Mexican standoff. Lucky shot. Now what see you mount up and get out of town while the getting's good. All right. Well, I'll see you again, fellas. Or oh, you can count on it, though. Thank you. <laughs> this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Well, we just have to talk it out, that's all. Yeah, that's right. A lot of trouble out here. But yeah, it was uh, just last week we were working on a new TV show called We Hate Paul Revere. The whole area was covered with dirt. Uh, well, just like it was in that little scene with Jimmy Fallon. And that is a mess to clean up. <laughs> but yeah, they were uh, shooting out here. So you get any idea we can take you anywhere without leaving our property? It's true. The bottom of the ocean, just ahead on your left, over here. Our circular building with the stairs, our water. Toss in a few actors. That's it. Camera stays outside. I found the snake. Oh, yeah. Tom Hanks. Oh, Tom! Tom! Oh, Tom! Oh, we just drove over the surface of the moon. Yeah. For another Tom Hanks movie, Apollo 13. There was a little dream sequence where Jim Lovell dreamt he was walking on the moon. It's the uh, astronaut Tom Hanks played, and that's where it shot. Yeah, not exactly high-tech, huh? A water tank in a parking lot. Well, things are certainly getting a lot more high-tech these days. A lot more of the CGI. The computer-generated imagery, like the way we created King Kong 360 3D. Hey, as a matter of fact, we're gonna head back to Skull Island. This time, no, no 3D glasses needed. There's a big dip in the road and it's filled up with water, okay? Uh, well, I, I warned you at the beginning of the tour you'd get a little wet. Maybe more than just a little wet. Oh my god. Yeah, you might need to hold your breath. Not long, not long, so only a couple of minutes, okay? <laughs> Three minutes maybe, tops. You guys can all hold your breath for... Oh look, it's dropping way down! Oh, this will just come up to your shoulders. You'll still be able to breathe. Yeah, I... No, no, no. It'll drop way down. Then we will cross. Some of this water could creep up on the floor, though. You might want to pick up anything just to be on the safe side. We'll let it drop a bit. Then as we cross, you want your camera to the left. That's where you get a shot, just like it is. And if you would like to do a little comparison, here it is on your monitors. It is all the bigger Skull Island ever got. Because it's all the bigger it needed to be. We just used it for close-ups. For the weather, we use rain towers, fog machines, and lights. Yeah, those are all things that have been around since the early days of filmmaking. But, you know, it doesn't matter if it's high-tech or low-tech. No. It just needs to look real. Oh, look at this! The one thing that'll ruin the scene with a miniature bomb. Regular size gun. Pull up in your hand. Hey, you know what? That boat's worn in the water. By the way, that is a big miniature boat, huh? You know what we call that type of prop? A big inch. Big. But if we didn't have it in the water, it would be in this giant warehouse ahead on your left. Huh? Big prop warehouse. That's where we store the things we use to decorate sets. Where we keep the things that uh, actors handle, like the guns and the knives. And oh, we're about to take you through an area we've been putting a lot of props to good use over the years. Little Europe, the historic Little Europe, where we invented monster movies. When we think of Europe, we always think of monsters. Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, The Invisible Man, Phantom of the Opera, classic films. They're just brilliantly made. That Frankenstein image, Slaphead, Hulk, it's one of the great icons of the world. That to me was like the essence of the universal horror film. And I was just 
mesmerized by these movies. Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney. I remember the original Universal Studios Mummy movie really scaring me. They still ring in our memories now, and we love them. Yeah, monster movies have been and always will be an important part of our history here at Universal.